Hey fellas, having trouble with the ladies? Are you having trouble in getting those skin tones down? Or are you having trouble just all together? Maybe it's the lips. Maybe it's the eyes. Maybe it's the, what? Well, that's for another time. Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we are gonna work on the female face. That's right, we're gonna go through eyes, lips, shading, everything. And today's model is gonna be Black Widow here from 3D Wicked. Right now we got her in primer, but we're gonna paint her up really, really nice. Hey, but before we get started, if you're not already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. That way you don't miss out on any future videos coming up. And if you are digging this information in today's video, make sure to give us a like below and also leave some words in the comments section. That way, Mr. Algorithm knows that my videos are worth watching. So today we're gonna use a little bit of everything. We're gonna do some airbrushing. We're gonna do some dry brushing. We're gonna be using pastels. We're gonna use all kinds of stuff. I'm gonna give you all kinds of options to use on a female face. And today's video is sponsored by no one. <laughs> But hey, if you're looking to sponsor one of my videos, hit me up in the email below. All right, without further ado, let's do this. All right, so here is the head sculpt, all primered, ready to go. And what we're gonna do first is, this is a little mixture that I always talk about that I mix up. Uh, I'm gonna use this as a base for the female head sculpt because usually female head sculpts are lighter in color than males. Um, so we're going to be using a combination of this basic skin tone right here from Vallejo. And then we're going to be using this regular skin tone from the Model Air series. There is a difference in the color. And we're going to be using a little bit of this, uh, it's kind of like a pink skin tone. And then also I'm going to be using this little bit of a pink undertone. And uh, let's get started. All right, so we got a good tone for the base. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use this basic skin tone right here for some of the highlights, like on the forehead, the bridge of the nose, the cheekbones, and probably on the chin area. All right, so this is the result from the two paints that we just used. I'm gonna go back in with this little pink, uh, I don't know what kind of skin it is, but it's got a little pink to it. And we're gonna add it to a little bit of the highlights we just did. And then we're gonna go back and do a little darker of a pink undertone. All right, and now we're gonna go in with a little bit of a mix that I mixed up, a little bit of a pinker undertone and we're gonna go back into pretty much the same areas. All right, so now that we got in those areas, we're gonna go back in with this color and we're gonna tone it down just a little. It's a little too pink right now, but once we apply this color, it'll saturate through pretty well and you'll have a really good tone. All right, and where you wanna to tone it down at is a little bit on the forehead and a little bit up on the cheekbones. So let's pause a moment so I can tell you about my Patreon because I know you won't watch the end of the video. There is a link below in the description if you would like to become part of my Patreon. By joining the Patreon allows you access to the private Discord. And this week we do have two new members of our Patreon. Trong Gwyn, I think I pronounced that right, and Ron Cromberge. Is it Cromberge or Cromberge? Anyway, thank you guys so much for joining the Patreon and supporting the channel, and you can also. And if you want to support the channel, all you got to do is just watch the next video or any of the videos below and leave a like or some comments for crying out loud. And now back to the video. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to seal it and then I'm going to do some speckling. Um, I did speckling uh, in my Captain America video, but I'm going to show you how to do it on female faces. It's just a little different. All right, so what I'm doing now is I am turning the PSI down to about 10 PSI when spraying. There we go. 
that's where you want it. You can actually go a little bit below that for ideal optimization. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this burnt umber here. I really like this color for freckling and I'm gonna water it down. I mean like way down to where I'm gonna have like 95% water to a little, probably just that little bubble right there in the, just very, very thin. All right, so here we go. This is pretty watered down. I've got like not even half a drop to water in there. So if you need to practice, get you a white sheet of paper and you should have just a very fine speckling and make sure that you seal your model beforehand because if you don't and you screw up, you're gonna ruin your paint job. If you seal it and you screw up and you're gonna to need to take some of this off, then it's not gonna be as, it's not gonna be bad at all. The sealer will actually protect the paint underneath and you can actually take some of this off with water and a couple of Q-tips like I'll show you here in just a minute. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a little further back from it. I'm gonna spritz it a little bit like so. All right, and you don't have to overdo it. Just a couple of spritzes. Kind of like that right there. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're not gonna need all this. We're gonna go back in with a Q-tip and take some of that out. All right, so next, take you a wet Q-tip with some water or even a little bit of thinner and like see that right there we don't need that's too big and you can just rub it off whatever you don't want in there because you can't control it when it comes out you can take it off but what this does is this uh, gives it you know kind of some definition it looks more like a human face because you do have pores and you do have freckles on your skin so that's the idea behind it. And it does give it a, somewhat of a little bit of a contrast, but you just want to uh, not overdo it. So I found something new on Amazon and this is not sponsored by anybody whatsoever. I just found this, run across it, and I ordered it just to see if it works real good because I was looking for another pair of uh, specs, you know, so I can get up close on the model and I found this, and let me tell you, 22 bucks, it's got two sensor LED, it's fully rechargeable, and you got four or five, you got four or five lenses here that go all the way up to five time magnifying, and this thing is awesome. And if you're having trouble getting up close on a model and seeing all that detail, um, just like I am, because I'm going blind, uh, might want to pick up one of these. I got an affiliate link below. I do get a little kickback off of it, but I think this is like one hell of a tool. All right, so the next thing we're going to do are lips. So we're going to use a little bit of this pink here that I put and just a drop or two of this flat red, and we're going to make some nice hues for the lips. We don't want them too red because Scarlett Johansson did not have very, very red lips in this Avengers movie. All right, the next thing I'll do is take this pink by itself and blend it in with that darker color. And the next thing we're gonna do is mix a little bit of this with that pink and do a little bit of highlight on the top of the lips. And now we're gonna start on the eyes. So what I am gonna do, I like to take females and I like to take and put a little bit of the black around the outside edges for the mascara. And then I wanted to line it up a little bit over the top for the eyelashes. Now you can do this with a pen. You can do this with like a little small Sharpie marker, but, but we're gonna do it today with a brush.
All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use an off-white for the eyeball itself. And what you want to do is try and keep as much in the center as possible and leave a fine line of the black on the outline. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to take the black into the center for the pupil. And what I generally like to do is I like to take, especially on a female sculpt, I like to take, just put a center line where I am going to put it. Kind of like cat's eyes. That way I don't get a wonky look. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to take like I did in my last video we're basically going to go in a circle and fill in all right and the next thing we're gonna do is give her some eyebrows because it looks a little wonky right now I want to see where I'm at so I'm going to use this burnt umber I'm going to thin it down pretty good and then I'm going to go in the direction of the eyebrows. It usually goes up and towards the end, they tend to go down. So the next thing I'm going to use is this pale gray blue right here for the pupil. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in to the eye and I'm going to black pretty much get everything except for the outer rim of the iris. All right, so Scarlet has green eyes, so I'm not going to use a very stark green. I'm actually going to use this little bit of this golden olive right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to blacken the inside back of the eye, and then I'm going to go out and add striations of this to the outer part where the gray, blue, grayish blue is. Okay, and now we're going to add the green. Now you can leave it there if you want, but what I like to do, especially on a quarter scale such as this, I actually like to take a little bit of that lighter blue, maybe mix it with some of that green and go in here very finely and add some striations into the iris. So I told you we were gonna use some pastels and I got some shaved off over here, and what we're going to use this for is the eyeshadow. So she had a little bit of a pink eyeshadow in this movie, so this is going to go like right up here. And just kind of work it in very gently. And of course, with use an old brush while you're doing this. All right, so now we're ready to do the hair. And for the base, I'm gonna use this reddish brown. All right, now that we got all the hair painted, we're gonna add a nice brown wash to actually get into those cracks and crevices of the hair. Okay, the last thing we're going to do on this model is I'm going to mix a little bit of this orange fire in with that brown red that I had, and we're going to do highlights on the hair. All 
right, so now I have the model sealed and the icing on the cake is to put the gloss on the eyes. And the lips. And there you go, everyone. This is one of many ways that you can paint a female face. All right, everyone, I hope you got something out of this video. If you did and you liked the video, give us a thumbs up below. And again, leave some little words and stuff like that in the comments section. It does help the channel out. And thank you, thank you so much for everyone supporting the channel. So until then, everyone, stay safe out there. Don't forget, get out and create something. Print, prep, paint, repeat. And until the next video, we'll see you.